Joined today with uh, Bruce Freshwater of Sierra Without Wires. Uh, they are a senior level uh, IT experts uh, for your um, network and server operation needs. Uh, we're talking a little bit offline, but uh, you know, Bruce, wh- why don't you tell us you know, over the last six years since you relaunched um, Sierra Without Wires, what have been some of the biggest surprises, uh, starting from just you yourself uh, to now, uh, you know, getting ready to take on 27 employees. Uh, you have a day-to-day stuff as far as understanding the business model changes, and you have to go fluid with the business model to some extent as far as changing what our focuses are, changing our marketing, changing our targeting, uh, adding people. So as far as project management team, sales members, uh, the uh, senior the senior side of the sales team, and also rebranding and marketing. So as far as like Sierra Without Wires isn't truly descriptive on what we do. So the name came from my daughter, Sierra, uh, Without Wires, Remote IT Services. Uh, but as you'll see from our domain, we're Sierra experts, so expert level uh, server network operations. So in which case, there's a couple of different rebrandings we mixed in, keeping the same basic company name, uh, but just trying to change what our online image is or our image in general. How has the focus, or maybe why has the focus uh, changed since 2006? Was it um, market dictated, the evolution of the business? Uh, a little bit of both. Uh, market dictation as far as you have other companies out there pushing their products, pushing their services, pushing their packages. Uh, since we specialize in senior senior network op- or senior level server network operations, you have a whole bunch of people out there that claim to be MSPs, MSP being a managed solution provider. Um, MSP that has two engineers inside is not comparable to our size, so in which case that's where the whole experts branding came in. So we have uh, an exchange or exchange management team. We have a Cisco management team. We have uh, full-time developers on ASP.NET, uh, in which case as we diverse and expand into other markets and other segments, have to go through and rebrand the company to some extent. Um, Obviously, understanding what our core business model is and core values and ensuring those always stay. Uh, one of the big things we've done recently is we've uh, probably about uh, nine months ago launched a new application called the Sierra Billing Manager. That's responsible for uh, primarily right now is it started off mental health, mental retardation, uh, that managers would enter their information on the customer side, and we would turn around and back bill Promise for it, Promise being the PA Medicare Medicaid okay. program. Uh, Given understanding we're not necessarily in healthcare, uh, but us designing a custom application for a customer, and then we join with that customer, and now we have it sold to seven other companies. So in which case, back, back to the cloud offerings. So they enter it online, uh, they click submit, it goes out and bills pe- state of Pennsylvania. State of Pennsylvania approves, denies is selectively, comes back, they get money in their checking account. So we turn, like for example, the first customer we developed for took their accounts receivable cycle from six months down to uh, two and a half days. That's impressive when uh, dealing with money coming from the state, I yep. would imagine. <laughs> yeah, back to yeah. the, making sure your documentation is correct and making sure your form is repeatable. Yeah. Online so this versus was Excel. A, uh, this was a program that you developed in-house correct. At, at Sierra. How long, what were some of the, the growing pains um, with developing this product and, and getting, getting it rolled out? Uh, for that product was probably about the 350 pages of HIPAA compliance stuff for the state. Uh, above me on that was system material experts, so in which case we relied on the customer for that saying, okay, well, uh, you have residential work, you have community work, you have services work, uh, this is built on a day, this is built on a half day, this is built on an hour, this is built on 15 minutes. Wow. Actually having that understanding completely and setting down the customer saying, this is what we want is the end product. And also tuning the customer too, because the customer was, that customer, for example, is used to Excel spreadsheets. Mm-hmm. So in which case they actually yeah. had two people in accounting that their only responsibility is to review the spreadsheets, modify the spreadsheets, then rekey everything uh, back to the Promise system. So in which case this system was the manager enter th- enters the information, uh, counting, which is now down to s- one person, which was not part of the initial two, uh, clicks approve, and it goes up to the state. So uh, to quote the CEO of that company, we took their process from hours per week uh, to minutes per month for their managers. That's great. Any other uh, any other surprises uh, that you've encountered over uh, the, the years, uh, the past six years in, in growing Sierra? Uh, just transitioning, transitioning back to the business model thing. So things we never expected. Sierra, like I said, Sierra started off as server network operations, but we have a development team. Uh, development team's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Uh, and some of the things we're doing are more impressive. One of the big projects we just finished is uh, for a uh, basically oil or oil cleaning systems. So hydraulic oil and let's say um, an Oshkosh uh, fuel tanker. So the system actually takes the oil out, filters the oil, puts the oil right back in. 
Whereas before, they would send an engineer on site in, let's say, California, enter a whole bunch of readings, they'd Excel spreadsheets, piece of paper. So it would take above me on travel time and everything else. You're looking at about four hours for the process. The new system uh, is literally the customer clicks OK, uh, clicks their variables, clicks OK again. It runs through the system. They get a report out of it. So no one on site from the manufacturer uh, and very little interaction from the customer anymore. What, what advice would you give for you know, a, a new business owner who has a business model, is working a business model, and is a little reluctant to change? Uh, just because you're ahead of the curve doesn't mean you need, don't need to run faster. <laughs> that's, that's, that, well. that's fair. It's, it's a good point to break on. So we'll take a break there and uh, come back for our third segment about marketing and growth with Bruce Freshwater of Sierra Without Wire. Check out uh, his company, SierraExperts.com, uh, and we'll see you in a few.